What's going on guys? How's it going? Kurt here. Today's video, I want to show you guys a 3D printed HHO generator. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about the generator, then I'm going to try to turn it on. Later on, I'm going to show some footage of putting it together. So let's get right into the video. 3D printed mini HHO generator and bubbler. I even made a little bubbler. <laughs> it's all 3D printed in one shot, the bubbler. Now, of course, this is more of a demonstration piece. It might be good for like a science teacher or demonstrating trolysis or something like that. So I designed it in Tinkercad. So Tinkercad's an online CAD program. So I didn't use any supports, if you know about 3D printing. And so that's what happened on the flange. The flange should be a little wider, a little thicker. So there's a few things that need to be upgraded. Everything is 3D printed on here. Even the fitting, <laughs> I just hot glued it in there. The bolts are 3D printed, little little 3D printed bolts. We'll pop this thing open and we'll just take a look inside. And there's our plates in there, stainless steel. So I'm gonna talk a little metric, but they're four centimeter by 10 centimeter plates that have cut out. So it's a seven plate design. You have your anode cathode, so whatever your negative and positive plate, and then five neutral plates in between. This is a 12 volt unit then. Plates are spaced in between two millimeter blocks here. I believe they're two millimeter. And then the slot is a millimeter. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to turn this thing on and see how it goes. I, I really don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna hook it up to a battery. So I've got some leads here and I've got a battery. All I really have is salt. So I'll add a little bit of salt water to it. I made these little spacers to separate the plates. Let's try to squeeze them in. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Oh, it's perfect. A lot better now. I put these spacers in, 3D printed spacers. It's holding the plates nice and even. Two six volt lead acid batteries, so we have 12 volts there. So I have not tried this yet. I have some salt water here. Put some water in there. I guess we can fill it right up past the plates. So it's filled right up. It's not leaking right now. And this will be the first time it's ever fired up. Let's turn. <laughs> oh, it's working. It seems to be all coming off the one side. So I'm just going to put some non-chlorinated well water in here. And we've already had the salt water in there, and I dumped it out. This is non-chlorinated well water. Let's pour this in. And let's see it. some good bubbles coming off of that. Little, it's a little tiny generator actually works. <laughs> it gets going right away. Pretty cool. 